Hi there, it's Lone Wolf uh, from Wolf Territories Grid, obviously, because you're watching my stream. And uh, this is a little video, I'm making this in my um, community hub, and I've been asked to make a video about streaming into Second into second Life, into OpenSim. And Wolf Territories Grid is obviously a uh, an OpenSim based grid, so I've done a little presentation to help you understand how, how to do it and what we're doing. So the goal is that we get from your computer we get a sound source that might be a mixing desk or something like that to appear so when I click this little button up here um, you can see there's two notes there and the streams there it'll play so that means that people coming to, to events if you're a DJ can hear your DJ music or if you're um, a, um, a musician or maybe you're a comedian I don't know but you're performing through open sims so I'm going to go through some of the setup and what you need and how you can improve things as well so obviously you could just have a laptop but it's much better to have the, one of these things this is an audio interface there's various ones on the market my favorite is Scarlet Studio they're very very good my favorite mic is the Shure SM58 they're like industry standard I use them in the band and um, so you plug the industry standard into there the SM58 into there Scarlet Studio into there and that goes into your PC you can just run it through the PC's mics but the sound quality is going to be pretty bad also make sure your machine has got enough power um, and you've got a reasonable broadband to be able to actually up, upload the um, the stream to a Shoutcast or Icecast server. Now what that is basically, and I'll show you one in a minute, is um, so basically you send one stream in and it can distribute that stream out to lots and lots of listeners. So many people might be um, a bit confused and think that when you hear a stream through those two little things there it's coming through the servers of the grid but it's not it's actually just coming straight from the shoutcast server so all this is is something that tells this this little when you click on that it tells it to go to the shoutcast server and get the stream that you've put in the land so i'm going to go over to here to land and media and you can see there's nothing in there yet there's a few streams in here so these are all streaming servers i'm going to show you a streaming server in just a minute you can set up an icecast streaming server for free i think the shoutcast server actually costs um you can actually rent streaming servers i don't rent them out at the moment i might consider doing that we've got enough i've got some spare server capacity so it might be something I, I might think about doing but um you can actually set it up for free if you have a little linux server you can rent you can set up an icecast server in about 10 minutes and there's lots of guides on the internet on how to do that so you need some software on here to take the input from whatever you give um, and I've there's one called butts which I particularly like it's very very simple and I've got it sitting here somewhere there it is um, this is but b-u-t-t there's OBS which is a bit more complicated um, and there's things like mix m-i-x-x that's good if you're a DJ um, you can then record stuff so let's go and have a look so this is the software here butts that sits on there or OBS or mix or something else that can stream out to one of these shoutcast or icecast servers and i've got it set up let's go to settings so you can see i've got something called wolfgrid i won't open that because it will show you the security settings um and the wolfgrid that is configured to, to connect to not netflix but this now this is my icecast server and when you install icecast it gives you a website um you won't be able to log into this because it's password protected but basically that that's the website there and you can see that i've got mount point list public home so if, if if i was streaming right now and i'll do that in a second you'll see um on this screen you'll see that stream coming through so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to stream here and you can see it says icecast mp3 uh simple 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 you can see i've got some things going on i might want to take my volume down a little bit it's a little bit high if it's going into the red that's about right okay so that'll do so i've now got my stream running now let's refresh this page we're going to admin home you see now I've got this, the stream coming in. There it is here. And if I go to the mount point list as well, you can see it gives me some stats. There's nobody listening at the moment because obviously we're not. And public home says there's nothing playing. So if someone can come, some anyone can come to this web page and click on one of these things, um, and it will just um, it'll open it. Uh, it'll actually, I think it'll open Vox or something. Just, um, it'll open it, For you, you can hear me streaming because it's, it's delayed okay so let's close that because we don't really want that there so go back to my administration panel on icecast which is the free one so go down here it'll give me that that's the listen urls that's what i need so go to copy 
like this and I go back to open sim now you can get DJ boards that do this for you where you can have it all configured in a note card um, just a little hint on that if um, if you're going to deed it to the group which you normally need to do uh, you need to make sure it's got modify permissions otherwise you won't be able to edit the note card before you deed it to the group and anyway, go to land I'm going to do it this way music URL paste in my stream now this is always a bit ropey I don't know why it's so ropey but um, I'm going to hit add on the end there and then I'm going to select it from the list is that one there okay now you see now those two little notes at the top there have lit up okay because what I've done is I've told the land this region that that is the stream I want to listen to so if I hit these two notes you'll see that it'll say do you want allow always allow and now I'm streaming to myself which is great and in fact you can hear me streaming away to myself yeah so there's like a delay and I've not got it turned up loud otherwise it will feed back and it will be horrible so I've basically got this set up so if we go to the next screen this is what happens the Shoutcaster Icecart server so the user clicks that button and all that does is tells the you the viewer where the stream is it, the viewer doesn't actually play the stream in the sense that from the land okay all it does is it goes off to the shoutcar server and picks up the stream so open sim says to the user's computer go and listen to this stream in the background so you may have thought that it was actually you know a direct link from but it's not it goes through the shoutcar server so that's basically it okay so um there's not a lot more to say really so some little hints about it you know if you're a performer please if you've if it's a new venue and you've never been there before why don't you go a day before go and talk to the venue owners check it out make sure you can res stuff make sure you can stream i'll tell you what the things we put up with as venue owners from people coming who just can't be bothered to prepare properly you know we get some musicians who turn up like half an hour to an hour before and and the problem is as well as an hour before or half an hour before we normally got a dj on before a live live performer so actually you need to come before that you know a day before or an hour before get hold of the the venue owner so listen i'd just like to come and check everything's working get your stream already set up and put in so it's ready to go and then when it's your turn you can just like click on it and it's go and it looks professional um so that's my <laughs> that's illusions he doesn't know i'm making a video i'll just tell him making a video at the community hub okay this is our community building I don't, i'm just going to add this in i shouldn't really because this is a video about streaming but um wolf territories grid is a community based grid and what that means is that uh, unlike some grids where you the grid owners spend all the time just making decisions and enfoisting them on people i found and i did do that okay i have to admit to it because everyone else people other grid owners were putting pressure on me to do so in, on over a certain issue and we're working that through and um, this is actually a community um, managed grid that means that if you're part of the community and you rent land here then i want to hear what you have to say and we have um, some methods we have a community meeting once a month um, where we sort of discuss uh, all kinds of things to be fair and make some community decisions like if we're going to that we're going to, we're at the moment working through the whole god mode thing and having it turned off because that's going to happen in the software eventually in fact i've seen it already but had releases now of the new open sim ngc that will have it disabled so we're going to have to you know people are going to have to learn how to do things properly rather than doing the shortcut with god mode because you can do the same same stuff but that's another story nothing to do with streaming which is what this is about so i've waffled on and disappeared off into a little streaming place okay just to say if you want some land uh, wolf territory squid it is a huge grid i only rent rent out four by four regions because that's uh, 16 second life sims or two because uh, they're all joined together as you can see so you can get in a boat over this side and sail all across here as far as you want to go right over to here right up um well just as far as you can go you can see we've got um loads and loads of regions in fact at the right at the moment uh at the moment we have um 1246 16 um var 16 sim var regions that's the equivalent 1936 second life regions we've got events going on we've got a really cool destination guide that's updated by um people on the grid these are all live events that are going on 
and um, one little thing that you can get some help from is the, Mast the Mastodon server which is OpenSim Social which is this so you can join this for free and you can see that um, there's posting there and when they've got this actually set up correctly that will appear in the destination guide there's another video on how to do that we have whole grids um, not being grids anymore and coming to join Oak Wolf Territories grid and, um, and I just invite you to come and have a look come and have a chat um, come and see see some of the some of the sites we've got a lot of really really exciting builds um, and some of them like this building is a, a modified free building this is way different um, and we've got some amazing people here some amazing creators and musicians and um, there's a lot to see as well so that's it so if you need help please get in touch um, these two slides I'll leave these at they're actually I'll leave that, oh, not this one, this is object storage, this is our community meeting leftover slides. I'll leave it on this slide if you want to come to the community hub and, there it is, if you want to come to the community hub and grab that slide uh, or get, get a look at it, um, then then that's that. So uh, grid.wolfterritories.org is, uh, is our website, I'll just go there so you can see what it's like, so you know when you've got there, grid.wolfterritories.org, it's a bit cool. And um, as I said here, this is a community grid. There's lots of links here so you can get stuff. I want to thank everybody who supports the grid. Sorry about the howling. It's the wolves. Um, everyone who supports the grid and just say, um, I think that's it really. Uh, if you want to look at land, shop.wtgrid.net will take you to our land sale store. Uh, shop.wtgrid.net grid.net takes us to the land sale store all this is completely peripheral to what I was actually supposed to talk about um, and you can just fill it in if you if you rent a re single region or two region pack they are delivered in um, within 15 minutes provided everything goes okay and everything's filled in correctly they can be delivered up to in, in 15 minutes to you ready for you to use so thanks very much uh, grid.wolfterritories.org or wtgrid.net will take you to the same place have a really good rest of the day, and I better go and sort DJ Illusions out. We'll find out how to stop this. There it is.